This is Ellen with eLearning and Instructional Support. There are many compelling reasons to use mini lectures in an online course. Not only do they deliver content, but they also increase your online presence. And because research tells us that 90% of communication is nonverbal, seeing and hearing you in an online class enhances the delivery of your content. To get you thinking about how you might create mini lectures with VoiceThread, I'm going to show you four examples. The first week of any course can be intimidating. For some students, this is exceptionally true in an online course. They may not know what to expect or how to navigate the virtual environment. This six-slide mini-lecture is a course tour blackboard starting with an explanation of the elements in the Start Here syllabus area. Note the purple arrow pointing at the course schedule. VoiceThread has an annotation tool you can use to keep students focused on where you are in your narration. Here is a mini lecture called, Do You Have a Question? It welcomes students, assuages the fear of first-time online learners, reviews the Blackboard homepage, and explains ways to ask questions and get answers. With just four slides and a running time of 2 minutes and 22 seconds, this voice thread's informative warmth is very helpful in connecting students and the faculty member, key elements of a learning community. This five-slide mini-lecture gives an overview of week one's objectives, readings, and activities so that your students are oriented to what lies ahead and can appropriately plan their time. Once you commit to a week one overview, it is a very effective practice to include a similar overview for each of your upcoming weeks to keep your students informed and connected to you. And of course, no discussion of mini-lectures would be complete without mentioning a course content lecture. These lectures are usually limited to 10 minutes or 10 chunks of a longer lecture. This lecture is an 18-slide PowerPoint uploaded into VoiceThread with a conversational narrated voiceover. Ready to try it? Have a look at our other videos to learn how to use VoiceThread in your course. For help, email us at elearning at umb.edu.